Hello friends, myself Ardi Mahazal presenting my video on beta gamma function. Uh, let us prove that integral from 0 to infinity x s to m minus 1 divided by a plus bx whole raised to m plus n and its integration with respect to x is equal to 1 upon a raised to n into b raised to m beta of mn and therefore to convert in terms of beta we try to convert the given integral we call that given integral let i is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x s to m minus 1 divided by a plus bx rest to m plus n and its integration with respect to x as equation 1 uh, we try to convert this in terms of uh, beta function we know the form of beta second definition or second form beta of mn is equals to integral from 0 to infinity some x s to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x s to m plus n and its integration with respect to x we try to convert in this form and therefore we have the term x s to m minus 1 in denominator we have a plus b x we required 1 plus x and to have that 1 plus x term we can take a common from this therefore i is equal to taking a outside the bracket it raised to m plus n therefore it becomes a raised to m plus n remaining term is integration from 0 to infinity x s to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus b by a raised to m plus n and then its integration with respect to x. Uh, to obtain the required result, we put that b plus a into x as some y, a new substitution. And then differentiating it with respect to y, we get b by a into dx is equals to dy and therefore dx is equal to dy into a by b and then as we are using the substitution try to find out the new limits for x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 0 and when x is infinity we get y as infinity and no change in the limit. Substituting all this information in this step, therefore that integral i becomes, it is 1 upon a raised to m plus n, integration from 0 to infinity, x, the value of x is, from this we get the value of x as a by b into y, and that rest to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus b by a x is y and that rest to m plus n in the value of dx as a by b into dy. Therefore, substituting all this information in this integral we get i is equal to 1 upon a raised to m plus n as it is no change limit 0 to infinity no change in the limit the value of x from this is a by b into y that raised to m minus 1 and divided by 1 plus y raised to m plus n and into dx the value of dx is a by b into dy and then taking all constant term outside the integration sign it is a by b raised to m minus 1 and another value term of a by b plus 1 and whole divided by a raised to m into a raised to n splitting this into term a raised to m plus n as a raised to m into a raised to n and integration from 0 to infinity y raised to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus y raised to m plus n 
and dy. Uh, this one is a raised to m, cancel with a raised to m. 1 by b raised to m, that goes to denominator and therefore we have the term a raised to n, b raised to m, integration from 0 to infinity. This y I can replace by x, or we can keep that as it is, no change. y raised to m minus 1 divided by 1 plus y raised to m plus n and dy and that is equals to uh, this is x s to m minus 1 we can change y in terms of x our definite integral does not depend upon the variable therefore it is x s to m minus 1 1 plus x s to m plus n and its integration with respect to x when the limits are 0 to infinity is nothing but uh, this one beta beta of mn and therefore it is beta of mn divided by a raised to n and b raised to m the required result hence proved a simple proof only remember the step whatever the given integral we have to convert in this form of beta and for that we have to take a common so that we get a term of 1 plus some x that b by bx divided by a we substitute as y uh, differentiating it with respect to x we get this one dx is equal to a by b dy uh, new limit for x is equal to 0 we get y equal to 0 for x is equal to infinity we get y equal to infinity substituting all this information in this step and then rearranging it we get the a required result the integration from 0 to infinity, it is I means integration from 0 to infinity of x s to m minus 1 divided by a plus b x raised to m plus n and its integration with respect to x is equal to beta of mn divided by a raised to n into b raised to n. Uh, one more I will discuss uh, that will be the last problem for this chapter of beta gamma function. If you like my video, please share it as well as subscribe to my channel to receive notification for my new videos. For that, you have to press the bell icon. Thank you.